Meow. Oh, oh no, no, not again. again. We use a cookbook to make different dishes from the same set of food. Time drags when you are waiting. To make time fly, occupy yourself with something productive. It is the time paradox we all grow into enjoying. Mr. Bunny, where did I leave him? Mr. Bunny? Hello, Rennie. It is great to see you again. Hello, Mr. Bunny. How have you been? I've been excellent. Feeling excited about our new adventures. No adventures until Grandpa returns. <sighs> At Cheer Up, we'll make time fly with this amazing list of chores. Oh, great. You remember putting it off for later. It's all right. Uh, should I schedule another 10-minute delay? No, let's hear it. I've been putting it off for almost a week as it is. Wonderful! Your task is to clean the floor. Don't forget to have fun and be safe. Some fun? Cleaning floors is a grown-up job. I don't want to do it all alone. I wonder if Robbie will help. He is sort of a grown-up. too high to jump. I must... Do you want to get out of here? I wish. Does this mean that you want to? Yes. Does this mean that we are going to? No. All right. No means no. Really? I am glad to hear you are learning. I'll be good. Grandpa will soon come and rescue me. Will he now? What's the problem? I was programmed to act as a babysitter when the two of us are left alone. Yes, right after you tricked me into helping you get into the catacombs. When was that? Exactly 15 days, 11 hours, 59 minutes, and one second ago. Oh, that silly thing. Yes, that silly thing. Zim should have never done this to you. It is unfair. It is unfair, but it is also temporary. Listen, you mind leaving it alone? The whole situation is kind of embarrassing. Besides, don't you have things to do? 
So, now you are grounded? Yes. If you prefer to use this term to portray the miserable condition of being locked inside my own brain. I am sorry. You are not. I am kind of sorry. Not even close. Since we are both grounded, maybe you'll help me out? I will help you if you help me. Okay, what is it? You first. I need to clean the floor. Okay, this sounds reasonable. All right. That was easy. What's my part? Just one small thing. Yes? Go to sleep on time. Can I read a book first? No. Can I draw a little before I go to sleep? No. Let's play! I am the captain of the pirate spaceship, and you are the cabin boy. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, captain. Fine, captain. Go, go! To your left, yar, go! Er, to your, to, to your left, yar, go! To your left, yar, to your left, yar. To your left, go, go. Er, to your, go. Turn around, turn around. Go, turn around. Er, to your, go. Congratulations, you completed your chore. Great work cleaning the floor. To me, it looks spotless. Thank you, Mr. Bunny. Anything else on my list? Only one item you added yourself a month ago. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Grandpa's still not here. All right. Don't forget to hang back those pictures. What? Is that it? No other instruction? Only this. But don't get disappointed. I am sure that one month ago, when you made this note, you knew exactly what you were talking about. I'll figure it out. Thank you, Mr. Bunny. No, no, no! Danger! Danger? Where? Kids are not allowed to play with glass. I am not playing. I am cleaning up. Doesn't matter. Please step away from this dangerous item. What are you talking about? You are attempting to play with sharp glass frames. I can't allow this type of activity. I was the one who took the pictures out in the first place. I am happy you survived. I can't allow you to risk your life again. Fine. If I can't put the pictures back into their frames, you do it. With much pleasure. Here, you are welcome. At least me holding glass objects doesn't seem dangerous to you. Actually, they were made of plastic. Never assume that you know what something is made from until you take it apart. Here is a good lesson for you. You are welcome. This wall has three pins sticking out. Hmm, I wonder if something was hanging here. Well, the order doesn't feel... Thank you. 
Perfect, just the way I had them a month ago. Excellent job. This wall looks fantastic. And you have absolutely nothing left to do. I must find a... Hungry? Did you say you were hungry? A child must not be hungry. Renny, you are not going to starve on my watch. Quickly, plug your charger into a circuit to replenish your system. Robbie, calm down. I can't charge. People don't charge. Correct. Something is off. This babysitting program is interfering with my personal most logical thinking. Instruction. I need an instruction. If I can't think logical, I can't think at all. Was this an example of logical thinking? I don't know. This is not going right. I need an instruction. It's all right. Calm down. I will find you an instruction. place to put it. We, u we use a cookbook to make different dishes from the same set of food. Look, Robbie, a human feeding instruction. Let me see. Yes. Hmm. Right. I have analyzed the given code and selected the best line of command for your body function. You mean a recipe? Yes. The best possible combination is one, four, one, one, three, two, two, six, two, one, one, four. Can't you just pick one whole recipe? My babysitting program is making me select the best nutritious value. I will have to speak to Zim about this program. Please do. Can you repeat the combination, please? Of course. It is one, four, one, one, three, two, two, six, two, one. One, four. Grandpa could see me. Oh, my favorite sandwich. Stack, stack, stack. Stack, stack, stack. Oh, I wish.
wish Grandpa could see me. I need to ask... Good. Now, eat the sandwich, child. All right. Does this make you feel better? Yes. Thank you. Much better. Now, please, go to bed. But I just went through all this trouble to help you. I thanked you for it, didn't I? I don't think you did, and it isn't time to sleep yet. Thank you for helping me. It was splendid of you. Now, go to bed, please. I hate to remind, but you promised. Can I read a book first? No. Can I draw a little before I go to sleep? No. Don't I get a word in this? I am afraid you've had your word when you requested my assistance with the floor. Maybe I can talk Robbie out of this babysitting business. Are you all right? What? Nothing. It's just I am feeling a bit strange. Are you going to have another panic attack? No, it is different. You must have grown. Somehow, I am feeling less responsible for you. Maybe your program wears off. You said it was temporary. It could be I... Exactly. One day, you are going to walk off to college to have a life of your own. I will grow old, lonely, and forgotten. No way I'm going to college. I'm going to become a space pirate, and I'm taking you with me. Somehow, this saddens me even more. Sorry to interrupt, but I have an announcement to make. Rennie only. Sorry, Robbie. Private family matters. Fine, I won't listen. Can we trust him? I don't think we have a choice. All righty, here it goes. My darling granddaughter, if you're hearing this, then something must have gone wrong and I didn't make it back. I remember that I promised to return. I don't know what could hold me from keeping my promise, but it must be a darn good reason. Only a darn good reason can keep me from returning to you. Dear Rennie, if I'm still alive, I will send you word through my only trustworthy friend. You remember the builder who lays outside the dome, Capia? If you hear this, you must find a way to speak to him. He's the only one you can trust. Be very careful, Pumpkin, and remember to never lose hope. Love you with all my heart. Your grandfather, Stefan. <laughs> anything else, Mr. Bunny? Don't forget to have fun and be safe. Do you remember anything you've just said about Grandpa? I am sure your grandfather would be most pleased with the excellent job you did on those floors. You're no help. No help at all. Robbie? Robbie! What? You don't need to shout. You asked me to give you and Mr. Bunny some privacy, and I did. In fact, I made good use of my time rebooting my system. I need your help. Fine. What is it? Promise you won't send me off to sleep? I have rebooted my system to annihilate the babysitting nonsense. Now your behavior is completely up to you. Just stay out of my hair. Why didn't you do this before? I didn't think it would work. 
I have to get out of here. Does it have something to do with your grandfather's disappearance? Did you listen in? I thought I could trust you. Listen in on what? A super important message from Grandpa, the one that Mr. Bunny said was private, and I can't tell anyone about... Uh-oh. I knew there was something to that conspiracy. So you didn't listen? No. Stefan calls from the Gates of Faith. Then we end up here, and he never shows up to greet his granddaughter. I did the math. I have to find Grandpa. I know he entered the gates, so he must be somewhere under the dome. We are locked in, remember? There is no other way out. I will think of something. Oh, no! Find a way to leave this place. It is a specialized cooking robot. Can you hold the rope while I climb down? This is not thinking outside the box, Rennie. This is pure desperation. I am doing it still. There is no other way out. Silly child. Let me think. I will lower you down. This way, you will at least remain alive longer. Where is it? Where's what? The key. Hand it over. What key? My ID key? Stop playing with me. Be more specific. The key. The message. That thing you brought back from the dome of the Science Institute. Specific enough for you? Yes, yes. Stop shouting. Now, hand it over. Or what? You gonna shoot me here? In the middle of the street? I will, if if you do anything stupid. I've read all about crime. Don't mess with me, boy. You've read all about crime? Wait, I recognize you. Aren't you Cappy a museum keeper? I am. I, I was. Ugh. I see what you're doing. You're trying to distract me and get a hold of my gun. That won't work on me. I've done my research. I couldn't get the message. Someone tampered with my snow machine. I couldn't even make it near the place. Stop. Just stop lying. That man in the caravan, the one you got your crayons from, he recognized you. If you have spies everywhere, then why are you questioning me? I know you've hidden the message. Now tell me, or I'll shoot. Let's do this. You put down the gun, and we'll discuss the matter like civilized people. Oh, really? Anything else? Maybe a cup of nice hot tea? What am I doing wrong? I searched your stuff. I have you at gunpoint and can shoot you straight through your arm or thigh. Why won't you cooperate? This is not going right. Stupid, stupid idea. Robbery is always a bad idea. Funny hearing that from you. Wasn't that your wrench I found in your pocket? Aha! I thought so. 
Of course it's a stupid idea. Walk away and we'll forget about it. I can't. I must have the key. It won't work any other way. What won't work? My plan. Shh. He's listening. I'll bring you to my grandson. Go, go. Yes, he'll know what to do. There's still time. Go. Go. Go on, quickly. My team will be looking for me. I should leave them a sign. My team will be looking for me. I should leave them a sign. My team will be looking for me. I should leave them a sign. My team will be looking for me. I should leave them a sign. Sorry, Pumpkin. This will have to do. Keep quiet. I'm down. Thank you, Robbie. this for a moment. Did you hear that Robbie is now a babysitter? Is he now? He is. He is. Making sandwiches, washing floors. He's doing everything for those humans. Unbelievable. Yes, and the best part? He's doing it all for free, and he calls it love. Good evening. Hello, I am just fine, thank you. Yet I am. Perfectly fine. Move along. There's nothing to see here. You are welcome here. Did you lose something? How did you... Oh, who am I kidding? Probably everyone knows by now. Knows what? That I lost my master ID key, of course. It's your first day on the job, they said. Better not lose your ID key. <sighs> I will help you look for it. Will you? The Department of Water Maintenance thanks you. You are very good to help out. When was the last time you saw your ID key? I checked on it when I was in that alley, but it is too dark out there. 
And I'm afraid of darkness. Please, move over so I can look around. I'm going to quit anyway. I specifically asked if I had to go down the dark alleys. No, they said. There are no dark alleys underground. Ugh, I wasn't built for this job. If you find the key, please return it to the distribution station. The water maintenance master key should be somewhere... a master key, I can control the water system. Is Pony still trying to find her purpose? She is so pathetic. I can't believe she is 23 and she's still playing that violin. She should have just become a barber like her father. That would at least put her hands to good use. Grandpa must be somewhere under the dome. I should ask her. Grandpa got lost on his way to Zim. I should search the area for clues. Are you feeling okay? Yep. Uh, I get my rest before I... Uh, before I... Um, uh, start resting. Yep. Uh, where's my bottle? Can I borrow your steering wheel for a second? Stop distracting me. I'm in a hurry to see my friend in the bar. It's his birthday. What happened to you? Uh, I was going to let... Let me, let me think here. Uh, I was going to take a bite out of one of those pumpkins. How to balance out the taste of this feel that I was in a bottle. And then I... Uh, then I can't remember anything. Do you need my help getting up? Don't you put your hand on me, you Nancy Drew. <laughs> I am perfectly fine. lost my grandpa Stefan. He is really, really tall and handsome, and he has a huge red mustache. Have you seen him anywhere? Stefan lost it here. I lost my bottle of perfect, uh, some perfect drink, drink. Some grown-ups just don't listen. Could it be that he is leaving me a sign? I have to check this out. The crayon trace leads into the bar. It is Slug, back when he had more hair. in my bar. Only customers. May I come in? Does she have money? 
It doesn't seem like she does. We don't want to let her in anyway, remember? No, you are too young. I only want to ask around. Every visitor I have is a customer. I'm sure my Grandpa Stefan is inside. Possibly he is. Many grandpas run off to me from time to time. My Grandpa would never run away like that. How would you know? You can't be sure, can you? Then let me come in and check. To grant you some peace of mind, to gift you a moment of self-confidence i don't need any gifts i just want to check i am sorry but we ran out of self-confidence for kids do come back when you grow up <laughs> We know how to keep secrets. You are nothing like a doctor or a barman. Now, don't you worry about me, dear. Keep growing up in this forsaken place, and we'll see what medicine you'll choose. Bye for now. I'll wait. birthday party and I am invited are you lying to me I can see you lying I am not aren't you now all right I will check if you insist You are not invited. Uh, I think I made a mistake. Maybe it was another bar? The one that serves ice cream and doesn't have eyes? Yes, it must be. inside. He is too excited to have a conversation. I should try my luck with whomever he is barking at. Hello? Yes, yes. Oh, hello. Why are you hiding behind this door? Hiding? Oh, yes. I guess I am. Can't come out, that's for sure. Not because of this cute little pup. Oh, yes. Cute, isn't he? Are you sure the dog wants to harm you? I don't mean to complain or spread rumors, but he did chase me around all morning. Maybe the doggy just wants to play. No way to find out. I tried talking to him, but he growled and bit at my water pump. You mean he can talk? Of course he can. We used to have great conversations before he started his walks outside the dome. Outside? How was he getting out? Before the dog connected with his wild side, he told me that there was an outside pass with the air shafts. Yikes! Maybe he is thirsty. He definitely is bloodthirsty. I meant he wants a drink of water. Let's not argue. Technically, water is my blood. So, we are both right. How come no one has helped you? Everyone tried helping me. For instance, Pam. Pam screamed, Give that back! Her voice made the dog freeze for about a second. Then there was Stefan. He jumped right from my path, so I could run on without tripping over him. Stefan! You saw my grandpa? Well, yes. In the morning. 
I was on my third lap when the dog snatched Pam's remote. I tore the remote away from the dog and kept running. Pam screamed, and I saw Stefan. Where did you see him? I think he was standing near the elevator. Was he all right? He was about to steal something from Slug. I don't approve of stealing, not even from Slug. I remember it. Yes, I think it was some tool he was after. My grandfather never steals. It must have been someone else. You are probably right. It couldn't be him. Must have been someone else's red mustache, bald grandfather. Your description does resemble my grandpa. Is there anything else you saw him do? Only stealing. Sorry, I didn't have much time for a chat. I had to run for my life. I will try to be more helpful next time. Can you let me in, please? It's really important. Let you in? Yes, of course. But one thing, that dog will tear me to pieces. How important did you say it was? I can't let you get hurt. I will do something about the dog first. Thank you, precious child. You are very kind to this simple garden robot. Kindness is the true miracle of nature. It is pretty important. Okay, well, if you must get inside, I suppose I should let you in. Would you mind collecting my parts in a neat pile when the dog is done with me? That is terrible. I can't let you get hurt because of me. You are too kind. Before I, uh, before I uh, start resting. Uh, where's my bottle? Can I borrow your steering wheel for a second? Stop this traffic, me. I'm in a hurry to see my friend in the bar. It's his birthday. Not everyone can be happy in this world. Not everyone can laugh and sing and dance. the master plan from the master key.
seems so happy. Happy, happy, water, cool water. Oh, good boy. You want to be friends? I am so glad. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, Renny. The dog is happy. The garden robot is happy. I am so happy. I almost forgot. Grandpa told me to find his friend Builder. But I am so close to finding Grandpa. What should I do? Maybe I can be at two places at once. I have an idea, Mr. Bunny. Always ready to help. Mr. Bunny. Could you do me a favor and record a message in my own voice for someone really, really important? Of course. Who is the recipient? My grandfather's friend, Builder. And the message? Mr. Builder, it is Renny. Grandpa got lost. Help me find him. Mr. Bunny will help me send a message to Builder, but he needs help getting there. The dog knows the way outside. Now, are you sure you can get Mr. Bunny to build her? Gone outside many times. Know where he is. Friends, we talk. Uh, please be gentle. I can't risk my fur getting damaged. <laughs> Thank you, dog. Thank you, Mr. Bunny. Come back soon. Knock it off, will you? You are not very nice, little kitty. You want some milk? I'd take an aspirin if you have it. A spin? Sure. Oh, what a day. Have you seen my grandpa? Your grandpa? like that short, sneaky guy who points a mind control remote at every innocent cat he sees. No, that's not him. My grandpa is really tall, and he is very respectful of animals. Hm, lucky you. That guy is dangerous. Find a way to open this window. This clock is connected to the cellar window. today Do you know if there is a back passage into this bar? Pass, pass. Everyone wants to go through today. Just climb the window and leave me alone. Oh, I can't get it open. Uh, it's 
because you are not doing it right. Then teach me, please. I really have to get in. All right. Since you ask nicely, I will teach you. Sit down by the window and meow as loud as you can. Keep doing it until 6.05 a.m. The window opens every morning automatically. Now I can't wait that long. Well, you could be just a bit more grateful, you know. Hello, welcome. Welcome to my bar, good friend. Where's the boss? Business appointments at the corner table, as usual. You sit here and don't move a muscle. Couldn't you pick a better place for your conspiracy? It reeks in here. It really does smell fishy. Now, sit yourself right here and don't do anything stupid. I'm at gunpoint, and I need your help. I see. Uh, I see. I have it somewhere here. Should be in this junk drawer. What? You have a weapon there? A weapon? I was looking for a pen. I thought you wanted to make a will. Since when do you let a mad customer push you around in your own bar? You are mistaken. This isn't my property. Come on, you've been a slug since I can remember. You got the name. The day you brought your snail collection to school. Yes, Slugman, Slugster, Slug. That was the day. Anything else? I mean, I thought you liked the name. You gave it to this bar. Your bar. Naming a thing doesn't make it your property. You named your daughter, but then poof. She disappears. You watch your mouth when you talk about my family. Only keeping up with the conversation. Do you know that girl? The Keeper? Of course. Has she always been this... Mm, e eccentric? Yes, yes. A little more since her grandson started that Onyx deal. She gets too involved. Of course, the Church of Onyx. Aben opens up his arms to new followers. The Grandmother of the Holy One will orchestrate the meeting on blah, blah, blah. <laughs> don't let them hear you. I don't care if they hear me or not. Hey, you, Keeper, Grandma. You keep quiet. Did you have a pleasant conversation? Shut up, you mannequin shell of a person. He wants money for letting us through. S some luck. First, that cowardly garden robot barricades the past, and now this? Does everything have to go wrong? You can have my money if you let me go. You mean this? It's not nearly enough. You went through my pocket? Of course. Told you, I am no amateur. Right. You researched it. It all goes wrong because it is wrong. Let me go, and we'll... I could use some help around here, if you can settle it with the eye. Haha, uh -huh, could you now? Of course, the eye doesn't know a thing about it. I am trying to be a good Samaritan. I doubt he'll offer any decent pay. One order, one coin. The pay. It doesn't matter what the pay is. Don't you know anything about this place? Hey, it's your job. I only wanted to help. I can't work here. I belong to the world of rhetoric. To the world of art and music. 
Give me a break. I also have access to a weapons exhibit, if you know what I mean. Now you're a kidnapper, a robber, and a slaveholder. A criminal career made in a day. Do I know anything about this bar? I personally watch Slug build it around his brewery. You don't understand. The Eye controls Slug and everything around the bar. If you get an offer, it comes from the Eye. The Eye never makes an offer unless he wants to trick you. I'm sorry I asked. Now listen, there is another way around it. You play along, and I will try to negotiate with the Eye. We only need one more coin. With some luck, you'll make it under an hour. What's the job? Did you settle your terms with the eye? Not yet. What's the job? Did you settle your terms? Hey, buddy. You all right? He'll be fine. He just needs to catch his breath. <laughs> you let him go. He is free to go whenever he likes. I can't throw him out on the street unconscious. It would be so unprofessional of me. Where is my fuel? What have you done to my fish? Less questions asked, more teeth left. What can you do? <laughs> that nosy sack was asking for it. He smells of craps. I wonder if they made him gulp the stuff. Where are you taking me? All you need to know is that we must get to the place before the caravan enters Capia. The caravan should already be here. I didn't make it far ahead. My friend is holding it up. I will tell you everything, but you must cooperate. I need a better reason for cooperation than hazy promises at gunpoint. How about saving a life? Is that a good enough reason for you? Reason? You didn't give me a reason. You'll help me whether you like it or not. Life? How can I save a life? Listen, I'm not a doctor, but if you need a doctor, and it sounds like you do. No doctors, this is beyond medicine. Shh, we can't talk. You are a grandparent, aren't you? You'll understand when you see him. This is all I can say. The walls read lips. Drop the weapon, and we can get you proper help. Good doctors will stop bad walls. You could stop this, but you insist on playing your stupid waiting game? Right on, sister. The wait around this place is insane. I am leaving a bad review. Go on and do what Slugster tells you. I must get back to the table and finish the deal. I must hurry. He is growing too many ears, too many eyes, too fast, too soon. How long have you been following me? Ever since you left Capia. You couldn't have followed me all the way to the Institute. There's no place for you to hide out in the open. I knew you made it through the snow. Did you make it on time? Was the dome of the Institute still in its place? No, it was gone. What do you know about this? Shh, not here. Are you crazy? He'll hear us later. Help me out of this. We'll talk later. What's the job? 
Did you settle your terms with the I? Yes. Keeper got the green light. Good. Well, don't ask me. Ask your customers. Go, go. Orders are waiting. Our waiter will be right with you. About time. Table service, I'd say. Time to leave a good review. Don't forget to wear your uniform. Enjoying this? Feeling blessed. Giving an opportunity to the needy. Some opportunity slaving away at gunpoint. Be thankful I can hardly manage everything myself, or you wouldn't have a chance. Wait a second. Are you complaining? Seriously? What do you want? Hey, slug. What's up with your waiter? Rude. Slow service. Unhappy customer? Unhappy waiter. You heard him. Just spill it, would you? Slug special. Birthday deal. Three mugs for the price of two. Three mugs for two people? Nosy waiters? If you must know, uh, one guest is parking. No parking area? Fine. None of my business. Slug special it is. Anything else? A pickle. Uh, make it a bowl. A bowl of pickles? Yes. Nothing is too good for my guests. Low food quality. Poor menu. I took the order. What's next? Yes, what is it? You heard them. Heard what? Slug special. Birthday deal. On what table? You gotta be kidding. To your only customers. Don't get smart with me. They want food? Would you call a pickle food? I'd rather have them order fish or turtle soup. No, actually, turtle soup is on the menu for tomorrow. Tell them we don't have pickles. What if they don't want your fish? How could one not want fish? Fine. If for some reason they don't want fish, give them pickles. Everyone loves pickles. There should be a few left in the barrel. I thought you didn't have any pickles. You don't have the entrepreneur's mind. Customers need snacks to consume. Slug special. See what happened to your friend out there? I didn't ask. Then ask. We're low on pickles. You want fish instead? Do fish have eyes? Yum. Is that a yes? See, this is exactly why I insist on introducing myself as a vegetarian. Casually, I am a vegetarian, you know. I won't eat anything with eyes. I'm sure Slug will take the eyes out if that's an issue. Just give me my pickles. I'll look in the back. Pickles are too slippery to fish out with my bare hands.
Just a couple. Good enough. There are no more pickles left, so this will have to do. I told you they have everything in the back. One should always ask. Drink, food, enjoy. No, no, no craps for me. I must be in shape for the darts final. That stuff makes me drowsy. Ugh, craps in every drink. Drowsy experience. Yuck. Boring public. Make sure to bring your own darts partner. Having fun? No. I want my pay. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Having fun? No. What do you keep writing? A review on this bar. Oh, please. This is the only bar in town. Need a partner? You want to play? You want to play against me? <laughs> the wager is one coin per game. You let him speak for you? Do what he says. It's his birthday. I'll return with some cash. Having fun? No. Here's your money. I need to end up with a score of zero. Good game. I am the darts genius. I hate to admit it, but this guy is too strong of an opponent. I need to either practice for another 20 years or come up with a better move. Hey, waiter, another round. Customers want another round. It's music to my ears. Fish it is. Nothing else to serve as a snack to slugs brew. I'll borrow this for a second.
Pickles are too. I don't think the vegetarian birthday boy will eat fish, but the tall guy just might. I need a plan. I need to prepare the fish before I serve it. This won't help. I need a plan. I can't keep wasting my... I need to prepare the fish before I serve it. A drop or two, eh? Eh, what the heck? We're out of pickles. Brought you fish. Eyes removed, courtesy of the bar. Take it away, take it away. Where are my pickles? We don't have any pickles. Look, if you don't want fish, just don't eat it. I... Birthday side dish. Yum. I want my pay. Money this, money that. Whatever happened to small talk? I want my pay. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Another round? Here's your money. I need to end up with a score of zero. You better not show your face in here again. With much pleasure.
Can I have one coin? What for? To place a win. No. Doesn't look like it's your lucky day. Here's your money. It isn't enough. Yeah, I just raised the fee by one coin. No problem. Here's one more coin. Cheater. Nasty little trickster. A deal is a deal. Fine. You are fired. Follow me and give me that hat you are hoarding. Hey, Yanni's leaving already? Let him go. He's no fun anyway. Hey, waiter. Another round. Customers are calling. Scare the bird to open up the path. What? What bird? You want more information. It will cost you. We are good, thanks. Hey, you get back here and open the door. Stay out of it. Leash your pup, would you? We don't want any trouble here, do we? Don't you make a sound. Good. Bye now. You owe me an explanation. And I mean a well thought out, complete explanation. I don't let people push me around like that. Not even at gunpoint. Are you listening? Shut up and help me search. We ran out of pickles. Are you listening to me? Chill out. You want an explanation and you'll get it when we leave this place. All is promised. What exactly are you looking for? The bird. We need to find the bird. Are you completely out of your mind? Shut up and help me search. Could this be the bird? Ah! The wall's moving. The path. Now what? Look around. There should be a lamp somewhere. Looking is exactly the problem. Stop being such a baby. I need to try something else. Fine, but make it fast. Snap, snap, short questions. Why did you kidnap me? I've already told you, you have something I need. The key, right? Yes, the key. At least you finally stopped denying that you have it. What do you want it for? To use it as our only chance. To save your grandson. Yes, he's wearing away as we speak. And yet you keep insisting on this meaningless conversation. Hey, chill out. I can't believe you. A grown man that can't add two and two together. The dome is the machine, the machine that requires a key that you happen to have. Yeah, right. I know how you brainwash people in your onyx cult. The dome is the machine and you are the mechanic. Say what you like, as long as you follow me to my grandson. Oh, I'll follow. I won't miss a chance to see what your lies got you into. What is the key open? If you don't know what the key is for, then why would you go all the way to get it? This is not how you answer a question. I have a proposal for you. You give me this good-for-nothing key, and I'll let you go. No way. After everything you've made me go through, I want to find out its true value. I didn't say I have it. Keep playing your little game if you must. Your lies won't change the story. What happened to Slug? You've seen it yourself. Slug's eye controls everything around the bar. I know Slug. We went to school together. He was a bit of a control freak, but an okay kind of guy. You said it yourself. He was an okay guy. A great one, actually, for those who knew him well. Doesn't your church teach that the Eye of Onyx is a blessing? 
for some, it's a blessing. If it's not a blessing for you, then we're in the same boat. Do you have a name, or should I keep calling you Kidnapper? Call me what you like, as long as you stay cooperative. I gotta call you something. How about K? Short for Kidnapper, or Keeper. I said I don't care. My parents named me Catherine, but some call me Drake, and others, and others the Holy Grandmother. It all makes no difference to me. What about the Capia Museum Keeper? That's my profession, not my name. You mean THE Drake? The leader of the East and the West Union movement? Look, sometimes a leader has to die to keep the idea alive. I left my comrades and devoted myself to the bigger objective. What can be bigger than peace movement? The search for an origin, the start of the experiment that gave birth to the independent intelligence known as the Eye. Okay, come on, keep it short. We haven't got all day. To put it simply, a united group of Eastern Yellow Press designed a biological computer that could scan and analyze rumors. Seriously? A paparazzi? Would you shut up and listen? The system, known as the Eye, collected sensitive information about celebrities. But soon it turned on world leaders and finally against its own creators. Wait, the Eye blackmailed the Eastern Yellow Press? Those suckers got what was coming to them, but... Why would it blackmail its own makers? The Eastern Yellow Press became the most powerful organization in the world. The Eye manipulated the internal affairs, gained independence, and took over the power. I can't believe that reputation alone could hold this much value. What can I say? People want to see high standards in their leaders. If you want trust, you darn well better be crystal clear on your actions. Unachievable standards fed the power of the eye. Those leaders with a vivid past were vulnerable to blackmail. In my pilot practice, people without glowing experience show less initiative. Some tried hiding their past in a stream of misleading details, but the eye could see through their lies. A generation of people who were scared of their own shadow couldn't come up with anything better than building a moon war arsenal to battle Eastern manipulation. How can one battle information with weapons? Exactly. Why build a security force on the moon? The eye is a biological substance. The idea was to keep arms as far away from the east and the eye as possible. If the east invented the eye, then the war is their responsibility. The East gave birth to the system, but we, the West, gave it its true power. The Eye corrupted the reporter on the moon station, and she smuggled a part of the Eye inside the base. Are you saying that the Eye in Slug's Bar started the war? The Eye in Slug's Bar is a small part of the system. It's a parasite, and it will grow and devour until it gains complete control over Capia, just as his big brother did on the moon station. This war was no accident. It is a crime. Truth is never black and white. The eye is a part of human nature, the East and the West alike. Now you sound like a true cult leader. How can we destroy the eye? You've studied this. You must know the answer. You are right. I did my research to find an answer. I crossed the separatory wall and lived among Easterners. For some time, they survived under domes, holding the West responsible for the war. I watched domes surrender to the eye one after another. Did anyone survive? <laughs> you can't fight the eye. The same way that you can't overpower human nature. Look around. The world is lost to us. The one thing we can do is start anew and try to avoid making the same mistakes. This world is all we have. We must fight back. If you say so. Let's start by saving my grandson. Ah. <sighs> 
Help me lower the bridge. This will slow them down. A bit paranoid, are we? What was that? Must be the pursuit. Go on, quickly! It won't budge. Here, take this. My wrench. You want to return my other stuff? What other stuff? Give this thing a good slam. This isn't how you work the wrench. What's all this? This must be where Slug gets his fish. Where do we go from here? We'll go through the water hatch. Meaning we'll swim through the water hatch? Because I can't swim through the water hatch. Don't worry. There won't be any water. I rerouted the water system years ago. How many years exactly? Are you calling me old? I am saying that the water system is old. Fine. Which one's ours? It is either the one to your right or to my right. Let's see if I remember this correctly. You can't control the machine by pressing and pulling random objects. Have you figured it out? Indeed, I have. We have to open both. Great. What's my part? When I tell you, repeat this combination in reverse order. Hold on. You got it. Now get to your station and wait for my signal to start. Go! Now spin it. Now spin it. You said there wouldn't be any water. I wonder who messed with my water system. I don't know. There are enough irresponsible people around. Ah, oh, see? No water in this one. Is this the right hatch? Of course it is. You don't sound too sure. Well, I am sure. Climb in and I'll follow you. Oh no! My amulet! Well, this one is gone. Was it valuable? Probably. I found it in one of the archive boxes. Do all museum keepers treat the exhibits as their own property? I can't see it from here. Do you think it went down the drain? It must have. Or the fish swallowed it. Fine. I'll deal with this later. We better keep moving. I think I can see the light up there. I told you this was the right path. <laughs> 